Hello friends, I welcome you on Baiju's Exam Prep India's most comprehensive preparation platform for all the engineers. All the candidates who are joining me live just quickly confirm and join the session. Friends, in today's concept capsule, we are going to talk about how Maxwell solved the inconsistency of Ampere circuital law in case of a capacitive circuit. So let us start with the session. Some of you may be joining me for the first time, so there is a brief introduction about myself. My name is Ashutosh. As you can see on the screen, I have 11 plus years of teaching experience. Completed MTech from ITBH in 2010. I have written a couple of books also, and I deal with subjects like electrical machines, power system, electromagnetic field theory, material science, and obviously engineering ethics. Friends, if we talk about a capacitive circuit, suppose there is a source, and a capacitor is connected in this circuit. If we try to apply the Ampere circuital law from the source to one plate of the capacitor, we can easily apply the Ampere circuital law from this to this point or from this to this point, And we can easily find that Ampere circuital law is going to give you the total current enclosed. This current which is circulating in the loop or the wire, we are calling this current as the conduction current. This current we are calling as conduction current. But if you apply the same ampere circuital law in between the parallel plates of the capacitor, it is very difficult to justify that how current is actually flowing in between the two plates of the parallel plate capacitor. Because if you see, in between the two plates of the parallel plate capacitor, either it is going to be air or there is going to be some dielectric medium. And when we talk about the conduction current, we know that conduction current can only be present in case of a conductor or conducting wire. So it was little inconsistent to apply the Ampere circuital law and prove the continuity, continuity of the conduction current in between the two path two plates of the parallel plate capacitor. This inc inconsistency wall was solved by Maxwell. What he has done? Suppose you write the Maxwell equation for a static field. What is the Maxwell equation for a static field? It is del cross H is equal to J where J is the conduction current density. Now, the same equation we are going to apply to the time varying field. If the source is time varying, then let us see what is going to happen. If we apply the same Ampere circuital law, which is nothing but the Maxwell's equation for the static field. And suppose we take the diversion on both the side, then what will happen? This is going to be del cross J. Now you focus on the left hand side. What is this left hand side? This left hand side is nothing but the diversion of curl of a vector. And you know that the diversion of the curl of a vector is always zero. So if the left hand part is zero, definitely the right hand part must be zero. So we have to write del cross, sorry, del dot j is equal to zero. But from the continuity equation, We know that this del cross del dot j is minus del rho v upon del v. So if you equate these two equations, you will see that ultimately you have to write that my that del rho v upon del t is zero. Now, which is wrong? 
this conclusion is wrong. Yes or no? Because if you talk about the conduction current, the charges must be flowing or you can say the charge density must be changing with respect to time as we are dealing with the time varying field. So we started our derivation with the time varying field and at the end part of our derivation we are getting that the time varying field is not possible. So Maxwell said definitely there is some missing term in the Maxwell equation for the static field or you can say in the ampere circuital law. So what is the modification provided by Maxwell? Modification given by Maxwell. He said that del cross H Suppose it is J plus some unknown term. We don't know what is this term. We are just introducing it for the first time. And now again we take the divergent on both the side. This is going to be del dot J plus del dot G. Again this part is going to be the divergent of curl of a vector. So this is always going to be 0. And this Continuity equation is going to give us minus del rho v upon del v. So I can write del dot g is equal to del rho v upon del v. Now if you apply the Gauss law, what is the Gauss law? If you apply the Gauss law, You can write del dot d is equal to rho v. So in place of rho v, that is the charge density, volume charge density, you can put it in form of del into v. So you can write it as del del d upon del t. So if you compare g and del d upon del t, you will understand that this g which was an unknown, it is nothing but del D upon del T. If you find the unit, if you find the unit of this term, you will find it is the unit of current density that is ampere per meter square. So Maxwell said that this G is actually the displacement current. This G is actually the displacement current. So what is happening in the capacitive circuit when ampere circuital law was not able to satisfy the Maxwell said that what you are seeing as the conduction current in the conducting wire similarly in between the two parallel plates of the capacitor we have displacement current displacement current now once you understand that displacement current is going to be the current which defines the continuity of the current in a capacitive circuit. It is very interesting to know that how this conduction current and displacement current is going to be related to each other. Now for the same circuit, for the same circuit, if I have to write the conduction current, how I am going to write the conduction current? The conduction current I can write as C dV by dt. What is this dV by dt? Suppose this voltage source is given as V0 sin omega t. It is a sinusoidal time varying voltage source. So if you write the conduction current directly you can write c dv by dt now v is going to be v naught sin omega t so if you differentiate it you will get v naught omega cos omega t say this is equation number one 
Similarly, if we write the displacement current, how you are going to write the displacement current? Displacement current you can write as displacement current density multiplied by the cross sectional area. This cross sectional area is going to be area of the parallel plate capacitor. What is this JD? This JD is going to be del D upon del T. So you can write the displacement current as cross sectional area. Now this del upon del T. And this electric field density D, you can write in terms of the electric field intensity, that is E. So, you can write it as epsilon E. Because this permittivity does not depend upon the time, so you can take it outside. So, it is going to be A epsilon and this is going to be del upon del D. Again, this electric field you can write as B upon D, where D is the separation or the distance between the two plates of the parallel plate capacitor. So, this D is also constant, it will come out. So, you will get epsilon A upon B and this will be del V upon del T. So, this is going to be epsilon A upon D and this again if you differentiate the voltage source, it is going to be V naught omega cos omega T. Now, if you closely observe, this is nothing but the capacitance expression C. So now if you see equation number 2 and equation number 1, you will understand that the conduction current and displacement current both are going to be exactly same in terms of their magnitude. So we can write Ib is equal to Ic. I hope you understood the concept. But before we proceed for the conclusion of this concept capsule, let me ask you a very basic question. This question is, what is the phase angle relation between the conduction current density JC and JD? I will be waiting for your response in the comment section of this video, so do not forget to give your comment. I will tell you the correct answer. Thank you so much for joining us live in the concept capsule. Do not forget to subscribe to Baiju's exam prep for more such informative sessions. Thank you so much. Take care of yourself.